Hello everybody. Hello, good evening ma'am. Hi Bhagya. Hi. Hi Sadri. Hi Reshma. Hi Bhavana. Hi Amit. Hi ma'am. Hi. Good Pallavi. Manan. How are you doing Amit? Good. Feeling better, very better now. Thank you so much. Okay. Your blessings counting. Good ma. Okay. Have you all got a bottle of water? close by or do you have to bring <clears throat> prefer to see you if that's not possible it's okay <clears throat> is there anybody who's coming for the first time No first timers. Okay. <clears throat> See the reason we do this call every month is because we need to be a different energy on this planet. What we have been so far has not served us, and it's not serving the planet or any other life form on it. So the idea of getting together on the first Sunday of every month is to be willing to clear stuff for us, change things in us that might probably help us choose something else. Does it make sense? Okay. So <clears throat> we have to understand that we came here as co-creators on the planet. So the universe creates and we create alongside, along with it, which makes us co-creators. Now as co-creators on the planet, we have been equipped with everything, every resource that we might possibly need in co-creating an abundant life. Does it make sense? I'm like, am I talking to myself? I feel like that sometimes. Hi, Bhavna. Yes. Yeah. Nice to see you. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Have you been on the yes. call before, Ma? Ha have you been oh, on this no. call before? First time. First. No, it's my first time. Yeah. So I started this uh, more than five years ago. And we meet once a month on the first Sunday of every month. And initially, I used to call it Hope. Even now I call it hope. But hope at that time when I started was like healing, H-O-P-E, healing our precious earth. And then Vivek and I, my son and I, we were having a conversation once and we, we said like, does, does the earth really require us to heal her? The earth is quite capable of taking care of herself, right? So... What gets in her way of thrival? Humankind, mankind gets in the way. You know, we changed everything on the planet to suit our needs. And in doing so, we have compromised not only 
our own lives and the life of the planet but every other species on the planet as well why because when we talk of like we have to save the environment we have to save the environment what do we mean by that we want to make it suitable for our survival never mind what's happening elsewhere but in this way when we separate ourselves then we cannot create what we came here to create and the planet does not have the bandwidth it has to thrive because we are constantly getting in the way so then we said instead of calling it hope as in like healing our precious earth what would it be like if we called it like honoring our precious earth how by living in a way that is an honoring of ourselves and thereby a contribution to the planet also we believe that the planet is always contributing to us no matter what it is that that we talk about whether it is food or something to drink or eat or whatever it is finally it's coming from the planet only even if we are getting it from the supermarket it the original giver is always the planet beginning from the oxygen that we uh, we we used to breathe so um so therefore we 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 have to be willing to choose to live in a way that is different does it make sense okay so yes before we contribute to the planet is there anyone here who has something to ask or clear but please make sure that it is nothing personal because this video will go on the youtube channel because some people are not able to join us on the live call so how let's can i ask for contribution no you will not ask for contribution you you okay. will not ask for contribution why why am i saying that you have asked me for contribution more number of times than you can remember or i can remember but why am i saying this to you now no no actually it's not exactly contribution there is uh, something psychological going on at the moment in the house hmm. which i am also uh, catching that's exactly my point that is exactly what i am trying to communicate to you when we make our situations and our circumstances bigger than us we are overwhelmed we feel like i can't handle this i want nobody to ever even think that that this is too much for me i cannot handle this so when you ask for contribution and i i will give you contribution that's not a problem but you are telling that you cannot handle this and i never want you to think like that that mere ko contribution chahiye to handle this you are bigger than anything that can show up in your life so what would it be like to become that space that consciousness that has the capacity to handle everything does it sound better what would it be like for us to be willing to go beyond the circumstances situations people whatever and to realize that in doing so we increase our bandwidth become more conscious and from that space then handling something is no longer as challenging as it seemed to be does it make sense ma but you are not happy with my answer uh drink some water please drink some water okay so thank you all for making the time to join i'm extremely grateful to each and every one of you who makes makes it to this call um i wish there were more but obviously it it will when when it has to happen it will okay so one of the things that that we do on this call 
is we work on ourselves, which is the only way to change things. Other people can do something for us, other people can contribute to us, other people can contribute to our healing. But ultimately, each one of us will have to take care of ourselves. Isn't it? Yes. So, anything else? Because once I start the clearing and once I start doing the clearing work, after that I do not want any, I have this problem or this is, I do not wish that to show up afterwards. Because then, like we've done so much work and then somebody comes up with like, I have this problem. So I, I would rather deal with it first and then go on to doing something else. Is there anybody else who needs to talk? But make sure it is nothing that, that you do not want to be on a YouTube channel, that's all. Okay. So please drink some water. And Ma, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I think I've uh, thanked all the facilitators for this, but I'm still curious to know. Yes. I had this lump below my uh, breast for the last so many years. Hmm. And uh, in the last uh, 10 days, I've been attending a lot of call sessions, uh, speaking to all of you. And I suddenly noticed the uh, day before yesterday that the size had minimized. And today it is almost gone, 99%. Okay. So what exactly happened? What is this miracle? You are. Then how couldn't I create it long back? I mean, because, it happened exactly because you this. because you believed you could not. Which is why when you said give me a con contribution ki baat jab apne ki, I said no, I'm not doing that because somewhere I want you to know that you have the capacity to do everything that you're asking for help from someone else. So. That was your creation because you were holding on to something, some, yeah. some energy that was locked in there. But with the, with attending the calls or the clearings that came or whatever it is, and you began to function in a different way, that not, that energy that was there probably got cleared. But that you could have done on your own. I want each and every one of you to believe that you are, you are, you are several godzillion times more powerful than you give yourself credit to. So when you do not acknowledge that power and potency that you have or are, then what do we create? When you don't choose to be as powerful as you are, then what do you choose? Diseases. Yeah, dis-ease is the body not at ease. That's all there is. Since everything is energy, when your mind is not at ease, your body is not at ease, there is dis-ease. But when you get back to ease, then is there any place for this ease? So everywhere we are making this ease like something that, that has power over us. Shall we destroy and uncreate it, please? And, and as above, so below. So what you create with your mind, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the reactions, the conclusions, the judgments, the points of view. They become like concrete and get stuck somewhere as a cellular memory. So, what would it be like for us to be 
using our minds in a more productive way, more efficiently, and not make it wrong. We are not making the mind wrong. It's just a tool that we've been blessed with. How we use it is up to us. Isn't it? So, no matter how potent a healer, a doctor, a surgeon, ultimately it is the person who heals himself or herself. The others are just helping somewhere. But ultimately it is each one of us who must heal the self. Will you please mute yourselves and if only when you want to talk, then unmute, please. So that there is nothing in the recording that we have to clear later. So, so you, you created it and then somewhere something you let go of, which probably allowed the body to restore balance and get better. You create, you uncreate, and then create something better, always. That's a choice. Each one of us has it. Hi, Puneet. Yes. Hello, Ma. Hello, Ma. Uh, sorry if there is background noise, Ma. Actually, I'm outside, but I had a question which was related to what was just being shared. So, because somewhere like I also realized the same thing, it is the person healing themselves and changing the situation themselves. True. But like, uh, because I do tarot, but sometimes if you say it, how to like put it across? To whom? Because people think you are... Yes, ma? To put it across to whom? To people like sometimes when like uh, because they always want you know something that external like a tool or something which can change it for them rather than the, the, this like how to put this that this is you know received because somehow this is my awareness too lately like everything has been pointing towards this direction. The best thing is to not say anything for Neet. Unless somebody specifically asks you something. Now, Rashi at the beginning of the call asked me something. Were you there from the beginning? Yes, ma'am, when uh, the contribution it was being talked about. Yeah. So what there. did I tell Rashi? You said, uh, you said no, because you are going to change it for yourself. So was that empowering her to know that she knows how to do it? Or was yes. it disempowering yes. her and telling Tum se to hogai ne kabi? Unless you go to some healer or whatever, nothing is going to change. Did I say like that? No, no, there's a shortcut. Okay? Not See, at all. I just, it was totally... I'll just give you my bank account number, then everything will be fine. Okay. So, so this is where it is that when you tell people something, they will not receive it. They will receive only what they want to receive it as. They will twist it and turn it to suit their way of thinking. Now, when I, when I tell people, you know, you, you create a relationship with yourself. When you create a relationship with yourself, that is wonderful. Then other relationships will also become like that. But no, so-and-so is not doing this and so-and-so is this is and that is this and I am unhappy and I am sad and I am... Yes, you are. Because everything you say after I am is going to become your reality. Why? Because you are the creator of your life. You have no idea how many messages I get 24 bar 7 on a daily basis. Please do this for me. Change this for me. Please contribute. Please. Sometimes please is also not there. But, you know, it's a manner of speaking. But the fact is, never ever have I told anybody in my life that yes, I can do it for you because you can't do it for yourself. I am always telling people, try this out, choose this, 
if you choose this it will work for you build a relationship with yourself whatever you didn't get you give to yourself strengthen yourself from inside then the outside will show up differently so in answering your question punith it's better to not say anything to anybody because they may or may not receive it in a way that you intend for it to be received ask them questions ask questions uh, when did this okay, get so created okay what was going on around that time what did that create for you what are you still holding on to what could you let go of today i am not asking for your story at all i am only asking you questions because with these questions you will be able to get back on track on your own and each time somebody does that their life changes and then i get those messages also saying that i did this and that that happened and i'm so grateful and that's wonderful to receive or it will be like ma you'll not believe what happened i like those calls because i know something good is going to follow their feedback so when you say you know they want you to answer you don't have to answer you have to ask questions you have to be willing to ask questions in a way that they begin to feel maybe i can maybe i i didn't give myself enough uh time attention energy maybe if and when i do then like she says it will work for me that is when change occurs because when you change the way you look at things the things you look at also change like dr vendar always used to say okay yes. are you driving punith no doesn't look like she is driving okay this is driving, driving i would rather car. you look in front than at me <laughs> but her battery is going so i don't know how long she'll be able to stay okay ma okay, uh, because so, uh, i just wanted to add this that uh, mostly like this is a question i receive that what should i do so that this changes but most of the times they just want ke healing kara le or anything especially in tarot because they come with the situation so it's always like uh, what should we do and i you know i want to tell them that you can do this yourself okay you know that was the dilemma like how do i but, tell because then they are like you you say how to do it <laughs> no you you tell them this is what the cards suggest this is what the cards are saying in the in the in the event that this is what is it is what can what do you think you can do to change it no i don't know what to do if you were to guess what would you guess what what would be your possible suppose your best friend came to you asking this question what would you tell them it's so much easier to tell other people what to do when it comes to us no that is when we hit the hit a rock or something <laughs> so if if you were being there for your best friend who was going through this situation what would you suggest ask question okay okay i Thank hope you, your ma. battery i i'm willing to contribute to your battery so this takes longer battery the traffic the okay. car so i can get home soon So how far away from home are you I do not know but what would it be like for the battery to hang in there and keep you on the call that would be really nice Okay anybody else Because I like I said before I said once I start the clearings after that i do not wish to go back to square one and deal with situations why am i asking this so that we clear all our blocks we we become the energy of as much consciousness as we can be and from that place of being let's contribute to the planet and send her lots of love so after this if i um don't get any any questions or whatever then i will go straight to the clearing and then the meditation and then the story and then i say bye and then you go to sleep that's what we do bhavna so i'll slowly count from 1 to 10 in my mind 
And if within the 10, the counting 10, I do not get a question, then I believe that nobody has any questions. So, and we can go ahead. One, 1.1. 1. 1, I said in my mind. 1.11. 1.12 Okay. Uh okay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. Okay. So drink some water <laughs> and gently close your eyes, please. <clears throat> and if you have already closed your eyes and if you're driving please don't close your eyes that's not good for anybody so if you have closed your eyes, very gently you put your attention on the breath and allow yourself to breathe as gently, as lovingly, as consciously as you can. Follow the breath all the way down and hold and then breathe out. Let the exhale be slow and gradual and longer. And let it go out with a lot of gratitude. And as you begin to breathe more consciously and your attention is on the breath and on the body, this is a good opportunity to thank our bodies for their contribution to us on a daily basis. This is a good time to express gratitude to everything around us, everyone around us, including the trees, the plants, the animals, the birds, the insects, the reptiles. And the people who have in some way contributed to our day to day. And then let us express gratitude to the planet for allowing us to be here and for contributing to us all the time. And as we give thanks to the planet, let us also extend our gratitude to the entire universe and express gratitude that we are a part of it. How much gratitude can we express and how much gratitude, the energy of gratitude can we be in this moment? Gratitude is one of the highest vibrations there is. And when we are functioning from gratitude and gratitude only, then there is no place for anything else. As in, you cannot be grateful and angry at the same time. You cannot be grateful and sad at the same time. You cannot be grateful and upset at the same time. You cannot be grateful and ungrateful at the same time. 
So get to a place of gratitude where you realize that you have so many things to be grateful for. The universe is full of possibilities and it's like food on the table with, with everything you could possibly desire to eat on the table. Like anything and everything that you possibly could want or desire, the possibility of that being available to you is definite. The only thing we have to realize is that as big as the universe is, we are equally big also. Energetically, we are as big as the universe, which means that everything that is possible in the universe must be a possibility for us also. So then if we are not getting that, if we are not living that, if we are not living abundant lives, then somewhere there is something we need to change within ourselves. Because the universe is infinite, no questions about that. The energy of the universe, there is no question about that also. So, we have that whole spectrum available to us. What part of that spectrum are we choosing to be? If you choose lack and limitation, then that is what is going to show up in your life. If you choose abundance and joy and, and prosperity and success and be that contribution, then you're on the other end of the spectrum and that will invite more of that also. So in the ultimate analysis, if analysis is the word I want, it is each one of us who has to take responsibility for the life we are living, for the life we have created and for what we would like to change. And it is in taking responsibility that our ability to respond changes and thereby allowing us to move out of reaction into taking action and then changing whatever it is that doesn't seem to be working for us. So what if the universe is always responding to us? You will say, no, but it's not responding to what I'm asking for. I'm saying it is responding to who we are choosing to be. And how much more are we going to invest our time, energy and consciousness in fixing problems, in correcting things that we think are wrong, in healing what we have created a dis-ease for and, and healing those parts of our lives that we believe are in dire need of change. So we can always be in that I am fixing my life energy, I am dealing with problems energy, or I am being the energy that invites possibilities, more and more possibilities in my life. And how much more are we going to live in a state of reaction? So everywhere that we are choosing to be reactive, choosing to be in reaction, could we let that energy go, please? And what if we, we could go beyond our stories? What stories have we made so real and so true for us that anything that is not in alignment with that story is not acceptable to us? We would rather be victims of circumstances than creators of circumstances. So everything that is, could we let it go now, please? If you feel like a victim, all you do is invite more victimization. Doesn't work. So what can we create now? What, what can we create that is better, that is greater, and from a space of choosing to be the biggest, greatest 
energy of consciousness we have ever chosen to be? And what if there is a different way of being on this planet? We came here to be like that. We came here to live abundant lives. So abundance is our birthright. So all we have to do is to claim it. And how do you do that? By choosing to be the energy that is in alignment with, that is a match to, vibrationally a match to what we desire. And as co-creators with the universe, as the generative creative beings that we are, what if we could let go of all our limiting thoughts, feelings, emotions that create so much havoc in our lives and also the lives of others? What if this is another choice that we can make today? And what if we could let go of everything that we have considered is the only real thing in our lives because it is not. From a space of disconnecting from ourselves, we disconnect with everything and everybody. So the first change must be reconnecting with our own selves, reconnecting with our bodies, reconnecting with our minds, Reconnecting with our subconscious minds, reconnecting with our souls or being that we are. And in order to do that, we will have to be willing to make choices that we have not made so far. Deep down, we all know what we need to choose. So it is not a lack of knowing. It is the lack of following or knowing that creates problems for us. And then the problem becomes so big that it occupies all of our attention and takes all of our energy. And because we are feeding it with so much energy and so much attention, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So our attention on any problem requires to be there momentarily, just for a moment, so we know what requires change. And then we move to solutions and possibilities. The more we choose possibilities, the faster things begin to change. So we can accomplish everything with ease and with grace if we choose to be as conscious as we came here to be which is total consciousness. So when we become the energy of consciousness, when we clear all our emotional blocks, when we realize that underneath the anger, rage, fury, hate, guilt, blame, shame, regret, sadness, grief, despair, insecurity, there is an unlimited amount of potency and power buried under all this crap. So once we let go of the crap, then there is nothing but pure consciousness, pure potency, power and the ability to transform anything and everything with absolute ease. So with the willingness to be that energy, knowing that that is the energy we came here to be, with the willingness to explore the part of that spectrum which creates greater and greater instead of choosing less and less and lesser and lesser, with a willingness to be the energy of joy, of gratitude, of kindness, of peace, of calm. What do you think life on this planet would then be like? Because each one of us is choosing to be that energy which is originally who we came here to be. So I would like you, if you will, to please make a promise to yourself today that you will be kind and gentle with yourself, that you will look at yourself with eyes that are different, and explore the limitlessness of you 
your potency, your power, and your capacity to create and transform things. So whenever it is that you feel like it, you may gently open your eyes, please, and drink some water. Is anybody feeling a little better? Feeling better. Good, Simran. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ma, can I ask a question here? About something that I said? Uh, yes, just now about kindness and gratitude about to us, to ourselves first, right? Yes. And then, okay, we are kindness and gratitude to ourselves. The, the other person has uh, no kindness and gratitude to us. So, uh, then how will be our reaction? Just cool and calm, forgive and forget. Uh -huh. if, you, if you think that somebody is being like that, then if that somebody is not like that, then you would be wrong. You said somebody is unkind and whatever, not grateful. But suppose they are kind and caring, then you will be wrong. Do you like to be wrong? No. So your point of view does create your reality, isn't it? If you say something is like that, then it can become like that. So what would it be like for you to change that point of view? See, we are all here on the planet as conscious beings. We literally are consciousness in bodies. Okay? We don't have to learn to be conscious. We are consciousness. But does everybody choose to be that level of consciousness? This is where free will comes. You are pure consciousness, your pure potency, pure power, kindness, gratitude, all of the energies that are there in the universe are there in you. You get to choose what you would like to be. So are you willing to change your point of view? No, because you want to see change outside first and when that change is outside first, then you will change your point of view. But it doesn't begin like that. It cannot. Okay? The seed goes in first, it is under the ground and it shows up as a plant above the ground later. Isn't it? And you say that you are kind and grateful and you are kind and grateful to yourself. Is that really true? If you ask yourself, are you really kind to yourself? If we were that kind and grateful, it wouldn't matter That's what it. anyone else says. Yes. Says does. It would have no impact on us at all. So forget about forgive and forget. It would be like... It is not completely relevant. Completely irrelevant. There is nothing to forgive and there's nothing to forget because there is nothing in that whatever they said that meant anything to you. Because, like I always say on the calls, when you show a red cloth in front of the mirror, you're going to see red reflected back, isn't it? 
So how much of what somebody else did, said or whatever was more about them than it is about you? So, so ma'am, what do you are saying? One second, is... Megha. One second. I am still uh, answering Usha. One second, please. So, I asked you a question. Are you really kind to yourself? You think you are, but are you really? No. That it takes courage to. to answer i'm extremely grateful to you for doing that but this is where it is we think we are kind but we are most unkind to ourselves most people are okay and as as inside so outside as above so below and so like that's what i was saying a little while ago that if people play the victim card i feel victimized by people reality circumstances my job then that is an invitation for more victimization why because there is a sign victim here so victimize so your i've said this before i'm saying this again your relationship with yourself is your primary relationship it is the most important relationship it is the foundation for everything else in your life so don't expect the upper stories to be built without putting in the foundation first and the the deeper it goes the stronger it is the higher you can go ma can i ask you about this one what is the definition of kindness here that we are using to uh what is the definition of kindness to have in ourselves i mean kindness in that still it's not uh kindness in to ourselves like like sleeping on time eating on time or is <laughs> what is the definition of kindness here You tell me what is your definition of kindness. What does kindness mean to mean you? Mean to you. Kindness to the body, to the mind. No, no. And when you say kindness, what does it mean to you? When you are being kind to somebody else, what is it that you do? How is it that you be? What is it that you say? What is it that you do? Um, kindness and. to i mean to appreciate them what they are doing and then uh, to be good to them not to talk rude like that so you take every instance that you have been kind to someone else in your life and you do the same thing for yourself see according to google the quality of being friendly generous and considerate kindliness kind heartedness warm heartedness tender heartedness goodwill affectionateness affection warm gentleness tenderness concern care consideration helpfulness thoughtfulness unselfishness selflessness and it goes on and on goes oh there are a lot of words there are a lot of words <laughs> but this is this is the most important thing i'm sharing with you today usha you've been on calls for a long time and i'm extremely grateful to you for this but you have said you have heard me say this before and i'm saying it again there is no other when we look at ourselves as infinite beings there is no one and nothing from which we can separate separate so that person is like that that person is also a part of you there is a part of you that is not getting what what it asks for is asking for okay so you want people to be kind to you you would like that but you are not being kind to yourself where are you on your list of priorities 
Are you on your list of priorities? If you are not on your own list of priorities, you won't be on anyone else's list of priorities. Now, now when we talk, when we talk about uh, this oneness, this is something that we can have a whole three-hour call about, four hours call about also. But here, here is the important thing. Lao Tzu, I think, said it several thousand years ago. We see the world as we are. So, if I am the energy of kindness, I will see kindness in everybody. So, the first thing is to take care of this inside us. Okay? The energies that we are, the energy that each one of us is, is as big as the universe. I'm not even joking over here. I am serious. That's why in our scriptures, they have said, Aham Brahmasmi. I am the creator. Of course you are. Each one of us is. Each one of us is. But in the thoughts, feelings, emotions, something went wrong, something happened. Pakad ke rakhenge usko aise ghat se. Chhodenge nahi. I'll never forget what you did to me. I will never forgive you and I will never forget. So each time you do that, that takes place, your power goes out, it spills out, you give it away. It's like you're throwing your power away and choosing powerlessness. From that space of powerlessness, what can you create that is great? You tell me. And that is why, I don't know, maybe you joined the call late. Did you? Because I asked over and over again, that I want to clear all of these before I do the clearings. Because after we do the clearings, I don't want to go to that same rubbish heap again. But that's exactly what is going on here. So I'm not still making it wrong or whatever. Let's clear this. But the thing is, no matter how many calls you attend, no matter how many books you read, no matter how many things you you learn. learn. If you do not make that your lifestyle, nothing much can change. Okay? So, for each one of us, whoever it is on the call, for, for those many, many hundreds and thousands and millions of times, in many, 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 many lifetimes, including this one, where you have knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, given your power away, would you be willing to take it back now? It is your power. It belongs to you. When you have that power, you will function differently. But every time something doesn't go the way you want, people go into upset. The whole setup changes because of that. Okay? So, little by little, little by little, little by little, we give our power away. And then from that place of powerlessness, helplessness, sadness, despair, upset, all of these only will take place. Take the place of that power that was there originally. So wherever it is that you have been there, done that, would you be willing to take back your power now? It is not power over others, control over others. It is the power and the potency to create your life in a way so exemplary that people will remember you now and in the future. That is what each one of us has the capacity to. So that is the power that we use to create something that works out in the best interest of all concerned. Yes. If there is no separation, then every choice that we make is a we choice, not just a me choice. 
So why is it wrong when somebody is unkind to us? And how is it right when we are unkind to ourselves? Why is that okay? Is it okay? So, we have to be willing to respect ourselves. We have to be worthy of our own respect. We have to be willing to trust ourselves and trust ourselves a hundred percent. We have to be willing to have gratitude for ourselves, hundred percent. We have to be willing to be judgment free, hundred percent, which means we are in allowance of ourselves. And we have to be willing to stand, hold our space without the need for protection from somewhere or something or someone else. So my question to each one of you today is that, are you being that energy of pure potency, pure consciousness, pure presence, pure kindness, pure gratitude, pure peace and calm? Are you being that energy? Because that is the original you. That is who you came here to be. Are you being it? And if you are not being it or weren't being it, would you be willing to be it from now? Do I get a yes from you, Usha? Oh, for Usha. Because she asked me a question. Yes. I will yes, be asking yes, like each one you. of you, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank yes. you. Thank you. So like Thank this you. is this is the target. And every day, every moment, every choice we make, we ask ourselves, is the choice I'm making adhering to this? And the good news is we have infinite number of tries to hit the target. Sometimes it'll be closer, sometimes it'll be a little further away. That's all right. Even if we stumble, we won't judge ourselves. And even if by mistake we judge ourselves, like mom says, we won't judge ourselves for judging ourselves. In that moment, okay, it's gone now. What, can, what else is possible? What else can I choose now? There is only one person in the entire universe who has the power to limit you. You will have to look at the mirror to see that person. And then there is just that one person in the entire universe who has the power to liberate you, to set you free. To explore that limitlessness which is your range of occupation on, on the planet in the universe. Are you willing to set yourself free? Are that is, you that is how. To step out of that prison that you put yourself in with all the fears, all the doubts, all the anxieties, all the worries, and everything else that I have not said. That, that is how powerful we are. That if we make a choice to do something different, nobody will be able to stop us. But if we decide to stop ourselves, nobody will be able to save us. Correct. So everywhere that we thought we will live posted stamp lives, sticking to it till it gets to its destination. And then promptly thrown away. <laughs> and then thrown into the garbage. Shall we destroy and uncreate that? Yes. What energy what space, what consciousness are you willing to be, which is the space that includes magic and miracles all the time? Are you willing to be that? Like I said, 
I can fall at your feet. Please be that. But you can still choose to not be that. But if you choose that, like Vivek said, nobody will be able to stop you. You become unstoppable. And you become the creator of a life that is an invitation for other people to choose and follow. The kind of life. Okay? So it is, yes, somebody is being very mean and unkind to you. They are probably showing you what you are being with yourself. So they are not the villains of the peace. They are directing your energy and your attention to something that you are not willing to pay attention to. So, so would you be willing to to establish a kind of relationship with yourself. Like you are your own best friend. Do you look at yourself in the mirror and smile at yourself? Do you, when you see yourself first thing in the morning, say, I am so happy to see you. Do you do that? I don't know, you are shaking your head, which way I do not know, yes or no? Yes, <laughs> okay. I do that uh, in the morning. Oh, and then by afternoon it changes, it. role changes. <laughs> Before I do that. You have, to, you have to smile at yourself every time you see yourself. If you are passing by on the road and you see a dusty car window, you look at yourself there also and smile. You are informing your body that all is well. When you smile, the body knows thick, all is well. So, this connection that we have with ourselves, when it is the energy of, of kindness, gratitude, peace and calm, then when we walk on the planet, we receive from the earth and we contribute that energy to the earth also. We are not stomping our way, jumping on the earth and... No, it is, it is a living planet that supports us. How are we walking on it? What energy are we walking on it with? That is the reason for doing this call. We need to honor ourselves because if we do not honor ourselves, we cannot honor anybody or anything else, including the planet. Does it make sense, Ma? People? Everybody's gone silent on me. <laughs> yes, Ma. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So now, a very important thing, okay? Now, you may be whatever age you are, which is just a number, but I may be 67. But the six-year-old in me is also there. The 16-year-old is also there. The 20-year-old, 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old, 60-year-old, each one of those is in me all the time. So, if you have something that you didn't get as a child. Somebody didn't nurture you the way you wanted to be nurtured when you were a child. This is good news for you. You can be your own parent now. You can give to yourself what you didn't get. And, and then change that scenario. Forget all that. What energy can I be to myself today that I have never chosen to be before? That if I were to choose to be that, there would be no, no part of me that feels not nurtured. Like that. You just give yourself a nice hug. You feel better. 
समटाइम्स वेन आई आस्क पीपल टू होल्ड योर सेल्फ एंड गिव योर सेल्फ अ हग तो उनका हाथ ही नहीं निकलता फिर बाद में कहते कि हाथ नहीं निकल रहा मैंने पकड़े रहो गिव योर सेल्फ द लव दैट यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम अदर्स Fill yourselves up to the brim with that kind of love. Let that overflow and flood the universe. Because if love heals, then everything should be better because of that. The willingness to be that is a choice. Not choosing is also a choice. So, anything. before today has no relevance to today or tomorrow why because today is going to be a brand new day and tomorrow is going to be another brand new day which is going to be better than today if you are carrying your yesterday into today then your today will be like yesterday and then your tomorrow will be like today which is like yesterday in which case the yesterday is what is going forward and becoming a new day do we want that so everything that is shall we let it go now okay very nice i was i was so curious to see who pradyuman is I am so glad to see you. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Okay, it's very kind of you people to be here on a Sunday. So now, the most important thing we're going to be doing, and it's it's something I want you to listen with your eyes closed. It will not be very long. Sorry. Yes. It's a story. It's a nice story. Have you heard of the story spilt milk? Well, we all know there is no use crying over spilt milk. But this story is different. I would hope all would learn to respond in this manner. This is the story about a famous research scientist who had made several very important medical breakthroughs he was being interviewed by a newspaper reporter who asked him why he thought he was able to be so much more creative than the average person what set him so far apart from others he responded that in his opinion It all came from an experience with his mother that occurred when he was about 2 years old. He had been trying to remove a bottle of milk from the refrigerator when he lost his grip on the bottle and it fell spilling its contents all over the kitchen floor a sea of milk. When his mother came into the kitchen instead of yelling at him giving him a lecture or punishing him she said robert what a great and wonderful mess you have made i have rarely seen a huge puddle of milk well the damage has already been done would you like to get down and play in the milk for a few minutes before we clean it up indeed he did after a few minutes his mother said you know robert whenever you make a mess like this eventually you have to clean it up and restore everything to its proper order so how would you like to do that we could use a sponge a towel or a mop which do you prefer he chose the sponge and together they cleaned up the spilled milk his mother then said you know what we have here is a failed experiment in how effectively carry a big milk bottle with two tiny hands let's go out in the backyard and fill the bottle with water and see if you can discover a way to carry it without dropping it the little boy learned 
that if he grasped the bottle at the top near the tip lip with both hands he could carry it without dropping it what a wonderful lesson this renowned scientist then remarked that it was at that moment he knew he didn't need to be afraid to make mistakes indeed he learned that mistakes were just opportunities for learning something new which is after all what scientific experiments are all about even if the experiment doesn't work we usually learn something valuable from it so the question is what are you willing to learn yes something happened that was then and this is now what can you choose then what if we could all remain in that question what choice can i make now that if i were to make it would change my life 180 degrees and you will know what to do why because it is your life and you get to create it nice story isn't it i liked it so much did you yeah okay mm-hmm. okay so anybody feeling good anybody feeling better anybody feeling anything at all awesome ma awesome Thank yes, you. Meg. You're so welcome. I think all I was like, I was just summarizing what I was just probably just uh, understanding what you were saying. So what I understand is we, the outer world is a reflection of our inner world, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you get to create your life. Your inner world is your life. limitless universe to explore to change to create and i am not saying that we live fairy tale lives but what i'm saying is in spite of everything that occurs we have a choice to either cave in and have that defeatist attitude or to go in and change something you know it is it is inherently in us this power to change something to transform something and god will never give us something to handle which he believes we cannot he or she god is what so if it is here which means that i can do something about it i wonder what i can do about it ask questions if we jumped at op- opportunities and possibilities as often as we jump to conclusions our lives would be very different isn't it we may not be living fairy tale in it can you hear me now yeah i think you can hear me now so like we may not always be living fairy tale lives but every fairy tale starts with something simple so uh most of you are not new here but those of you who are can you give me the list of people please just ah uh, oh yep 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 those yep, of yep, you yep. who are here after the call is over you have some homework to do I've been in the, the teaching profession too long <laughs> to not give homework so you have to go find the nearest mirror and you have to be willing to look into your eyes as if i am looking at you and i promise you you will see a miracle if you don't see it wipe the mirror probably it needs a bit of wipe thank you all for being here and i wish you the very best always thank you so much ma thank you very much thank you most welcome thank you thank you all bye 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 thank you, you. yes so welcome take care bye, and have a, a wonderful a month ahead seema you were saying something i said you are a real gift thank so, you so so now being... this is where it is like you are a gift so you see the gift in me also you are really a gift <laughs>
<laughs> I'm very lucky to be here at this. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful month ahead. Bye. Thank you. And Bye. take good care of yourself. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Vichy. I I didn't get that. Then say, "Bolo." Then say, "Bolo." फ्यूचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज इन गुड हैंड्स वी कैन गेट थ्रू द प्रेजेंट बाय बाय